Tech tip of the day. I'm losing my voice. Customer drops it off, states it needs an inner tie rod. Go over to the driver's side. Yep, we got play this way, not this way. It's gonna be a tie rod. Tie rod goes this way. Ball joint strut, uh, wheel bearing. You know, usually you're gonna get some play here at uh, 12 and six as well. We only got it at three and nine. Come over to the other side. Okay, on this side, we have play this way and play this way. So you think wheel bearing, right? Well, don't get burnt. It could be also this inner tie rod needs changed and also play in the ball joint. So before I give them a definite answer, I need to verify that ball joint's not moving on me, right? Or the tie rod, could be a wheel bearing, but I'm all alone by myself. I can't look for play while I give it the play very easily. So we're gonna come underneath the vehicle, put my phone right on that ball joint. And this works for all kinds of situations. And I get to uh, rewatch the replay here. All right, I just gave it the play at 12 and six. And now I'm giving it the play at three and nine. And now I get to take a look at the video footage and see if there was any movement in that ball joint. Uh, I should have put the camera closer to the ball joint, whatever. I'm making a video, get you guys later. Use your phone for things you can't see. I use my phone all the time to go down into engine compartments and look for things. <laughs>